For such a naughty dog, she's like pretty good off leash. You don't have to worry about her doing anything. Usually take her here every single morning and walk around. She doesn't play fetch or anything like that, so it's hard to get her to actually do exercise. She likes to clean up. She's not very good at it, but she likes to try. Good job. <laughs> Such a tidy. Why don't you clean at home? I'm, I seem to be doing all the cleaning. What's up with that? Well, I lived in Melbourne off and on. I've always kind of dabbled with living in Sydney. I love Sydney and I love all the people there and I've got great friends and it's actually, it's a, you know, really fun city, but it's just really hard to live there. I like the fact that I can just kind of do whatever I want here. I don't have to get into a car. I can just kind of ride around. Public transport's easy. It's cheaper. And I don't know, I just, it's, I've been here for so long now. It's just seems kind of small, which I kind of like. And also too, I've been like live overseas off and on as well. But now that I have like a girlfriend and a dog, I'm, I'm here now. I don't think I'm going to be moving anywhere else anytime soon. I tried to live in Sydney last year. We were thinking about maybe getting a house there, but I don't think that's going to happen. The beach is the main draw card for Sydney and I don't even really like the beach that much. <laughs> As you can tell by my tan. <laughs> this tunnel is really annoying because every time I ride through here, there's always someone going through the blind corner and it always scares the living shit out of me. I always think there's not gonna be, but there always is, no matter what. So I just like don't, I don't even ride through it anymore. I'm like over it. This is our house. Been here for a year, like I said before. It's kind of set up. Our plants are dying. <laughs> it's pretty weird. <laughs> But that's, that's my girlfriend's doing, that's not me. I don't go to sleep and <laughs> look at the handrail. But yeah, my friend, um, she got one, this guy from Sydney who we used to live with to draw it. He even got in like the Stellas that I was drinking at the time when I was trying it in there, which is pretty funny. But I mean, I guess that handrail is pretty important. Probably wouldn't have done a lot of stuff if I didn't do that. So at the time I didn't really think that, but kind of turned into a big, milestone as you could say this is the only board i have actually hanging um dedication to one of our good mates wade he passed away last year one of my friend's companies it was, it was very special to me it's one of his artworks that he did what would be weirder that hung up above our bed <laughs> nah that's uh sid from sydney drew this for adidas a while ago i think it was getting thrown in the bin, so I grabbed it for my mum, and then somehow it ended up back. My mum gave it to my girlfriend. I kind of wish she didn't, because now it's here. Um, I remember being severely hungover when this was getting drawn. <laughs> I was just like, fuck yeah, I'm just going to look all puffy and stupid. First pro board, the one that I like a lot. Horses, because I used to ride horses when I was growing up. I think that's kind of where I got the whole adrenaline thing from. Pretty similar. I grew up on a farm and had my own horse. I used to do like cross country and stuff. And then yeah, the actual photo of the rail that Kami shot, another angle I don't think anybody's really seen. That was another one that my parents, I gave to my parents and they gave back to us. Yeah, I finished high school and I was pretty into skateboarding at that point. My parents just kind of told me that I had to do something before. I did like a four year apprenticeship. I was working in a kitchen in Penguin, Tasmania. Definitely taught me worth ethic, which is kind of good because I can use it in day to day life. Well, I have, I've tried to at least. I really enjoy cooking, always kind of have. And I've just recently started working in a kitchen again, just kind of want to spend as much time in Melbourne as possible. Being a skateboarder here full time is really hard. I feel like when you're a human being, you need to like show your worth. And if you can't go out and get tricks and do your job, you kind of feel useless. That grime, that 50-50 above my, <laughs> the one I sleep underneath, that my war came out when we were working on an Adidas project called Activated. So I was trying to film that for ages, like as you, no, it was a my war. And Jamie Thomas hit me up on Instagram just saying, oh, if you ever want boards, hit me up. And I think, every... 
Oh God, oh God, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, I, I swear I'm a chef, I swear. <laughs> That fucking grill is so gnarly. Yeah, he hit me up randomly and just said, if you ever want boards and if you want to come to the States, just hit me up. And our good friend, Tully West, who passed away, he was always the biggest advocate for me to get on zero. And I kind of always brushed it off because I don't know, forever I always just put zero on a pedestal of like, that's the gnarliest team ever. I don't think I could ever get on that. And then when that happened, Tully seen it and was just like, you have to go to the States now. Went and stayed with Dane and just ended up getting along with everybody really well. It's not like I was over there getting bored straight away. I just kind of went over there and just hung out with everybody. Kind of created friendships with everybody. People are very protective of teams and they don't want someone that's a cook, which is fair enough. Such a chef just cooking eggs and bacon. <laughs> hey, but I'm poaching it. <laughs> Way harder. It's not like I'm just chucking in a pan and frying them. I'm poaching them. Sorry about the burnt toast. <laughs> Anyway, what are you going to do? This is my bike. Bought it for $100. I should probably splash out and get something better, but got a bunch of stickers on it. Got a Supreme sticker. <laughs> I usually ride it every day, but I'm not going to ride it today because it's way easier just to skate. And because I'm not riding it, I'm going to take some of my old Dustins down to City Park and give to some kids. And you know, Look good in front of everybody. I kind of, I'm a bit of a spoiled brat these days. I think I was trying a trick that was like a lip slide on a ledge and I had to drill other holes. As you can tell, I didn't really drill them that well. Oh yeah, there's, this is actually the shape that I want it that I skate. Because I'm a fucking weirdo, I can't skate it because it's got a red ply in the middle and a red ply underneath and I'm a fucking nutcase. And it's not even red top, but just because it's got red in the middle and red there, I'm like too superstitious to skate it. All right, let's do this. This is pretty sick. This is my friend's company, Shazzy. It's my pro model uh, sling ting, the zebra print. He made this for me, which is pretty sick. I think you can, you can get them at fast times and stuff. Straight A with six boards. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Nah, no way. Everybody that I know that's gone in there has got extremely sick, but I have heard that they're gonna make it swimmable in about 10 years. They wanna make it swim like swimmable like Copenhagen or something. And to be honest, I, I don't know about that. I did rowing for a bit once, it fucking sucked. I broke my ankle when I was a kid and uh, I actually got real fat just cause I, I think I couldn't skate or do anything for like six months or something. So my parents just sent me to rowing. I remember I got like so fit and like, skitty after doing that, so it probably saved me, so I probably shouldn't talk too much shit. But I just remember as soon as I could skate again, I was like, fuck this, I'm not doing it anymore. So yeah, this is, uh, this is my local, I would say. Everybody that I skate with hates it, besides for Brad. I think even Brad hates it. So yeah. yeah. That's one of my favorite things to do. I, I couldn't even, I can, I've probably done that a thousand times. Every time I come here. No! Oh no! I blame the scooter kids. Oh no! <laughs> Fuck me! Yeah, I'm good. I'm not warmed up. Thank you. Albert! Ah, uh, big day, double. Big day. Big day. Big day. <laughs> Gotta do double. <laughs> we do have a flat bar, but it sucked. 
the ground's real uneven, so I usually just get this one. <laughs> Jesus. I'd hate to know how many minutes I've been on backtail on this fucking ledge. I think I tried backtail, shove it backtail for about six months. My best trick, backside board slide. Oh my God. I always forget to lock in good. Oh no. No. Oh God. <laughs> But yeah, I usually like to come here just because I can't just go skating street spots. I have to like feel, I need to, I need to remember that I can grind and stuff. Otherwise I just like get too in my own head and I feel like I can't do it that day. So I feel like I have to come to a skate park first. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh! No! Yes! Oh! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Interference! Oh, I'll take it. Fuck it. I'll take it. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. Oh my god. You're way more sore than me. Damn it. This place is getting too gnarly, and I think it was about to be a birthday party. Um, yeah, I definitely think there's about to be a birthday party, kids. But um, I'm not invited to the party, so I'm not gonna stay around for it. There's like a better one here than that one. That's probably the sickest. Yeah, they're all the same size. They're all eight, eight, six. Thank you so much. No, it's all good. No problem. Peak hour. You can come at night, but you still get kicked out, so it's pretty much, and it gets sketchy at night here. You can sometimes grind it when it's busy, like this. Sorry. Yeah, it's really good. We definitely had a lot of uh, sessions here at night, but I feel like no one bothers anymore, because you get like a window of an hour before they like, street clean it and then sometimes PSOs because since lockdown they hired so many more PSOs there's so many more PSOs here and PSOs are like train cops so since COVID they hired so many more to like keep watch on people with like COVID stuff and now they've just got an abundance of them so you usually just get kicked out now they're not allowed to cap it or anything because it's heritage listed so it's going to be here forever but just need to wait for another pandemic or something like that which we don't want that I might give it another grind though. It's getting quieter. So fun. Nose grind it? Fun? Fast times, this is a store I ride for. The legendary Mappy takes care of it. But yeah, that's fast times. Make sure you go there. This is OG three block. Lewis did tons of shit. It used to only be skatable on New Year's Day. Um, so it used to be just like a New Year's Day sesh. I never came to one, I was too young. But I think like Lewis and heaps of people did some fucked up shit on it back in the day. I think Crookie, like Nolian would healed it. And then it got skated a bunch when it was COVID because that place shut down. Langslow, ollied this. The whole, he ollied the whole spot. 
And then Finney got a, a uh, COVID fine, which is pretty funny. Not for his bank account though, $2,000 later. Yeah, this, this spot was one of the most famous. Uh, we'd come here so much. The security guards here did not like us. We did not have a good relationship. Yeah, one time I was here and we were trying to skate the nine stair down there and my friend Hootie, who was way younger than me, one of the security guards grabbed him and like was pinning him up and I like tried to stop them from doing it. And the dude, all the security guards just turned to me and I was here and they had me by the neck and they were like kind of like trying to throw me off and this lawyer chick was walking past and she stopped and she was just like, you can't do that. What are you doing? They're just skating, like it's not a big deal. And she called the cops, the cops came and then the cops got them in trouble. But the cops were just like, you can't do, you can't touch him. Like, what are you doing? It's an open space. Of course they're gonna skate this perfect marble 10 stair or whatever. I tried to board slide this. I don't know what I was really thinking at the time because I look at it now and it's pretty fucking stupid. I stomped it and everything. Like I got super close, like stomped it. And I remember one time the security guard was standing here. So I kind of dodged him like that way. So I lent more far. I think I just stomped it that try before. So I was completely in my head, like going to land it. And I just lent completely over the death drop side. And I'm pretty sure I like slid it. There is footage of it. I slid it to about here and it stuck because of this material. I think I just stuck on that thing maybe. And I flew that way and touched my foot on the stair there. I think that's the closest I've ever been to dying. I hit my head as well. And I remember the security guy was just like, oh, you're happy now? He finally got his revenge. It was like the same dude that's been kicking us out for so long. Yeah, oh, we're just filming this thing where I'm, I'm out of here. Yeah, 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 no, nah, we're out of here. Um, no, 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 I understand. I understand for sure. Someone tried to do this. That was me. That was me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that was me, that was me. I know, it's so funny that I'm an urban legend, like, <laughs> security urban legend. One day someone died here. That was me, I died. So yeah, this is, this is another famous rail in Melbourne. Um, they got skated for so, it's, it's a huge bus, like you don't get very long here, you never have. So there's a security guy here already, he can already see us. I think they're kind of onto it now after it got uncapped again. So he's having a good old time, he's already smiling. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're, fucking, we're friends at this point. We're, yeah, we're fucking about to go to each other's Christmas dinners. I love when security guards have that attitude where it's just like, you know, it keeps their job interesting, keeps our job interesting. So personally, personally, I think this is the best spot in Melbourne. It's always been in skate videos and you don't get kicked out. So much like legendary stuff has been done on this spot. If you get a trick on this, it, you're, you're fucking, you're looking good, I reckon. Oh my God. Best spot. Oh. There's cans in. No, they didn't. Cans and bottles. Yeah. Mix mix bag. Mix bag. You can just like twist the, these things. Oh Ow! <laughs> oh, it's so weird being dark to light, eh? I feel like clearing stuff with kickies is almost better though. Because you can kind of just trick yourself into stomping it. 
Because as long as you're trying to clear it, the kickflip will be there. With kickflips, if you're just doing it down stuff, you just want to bail the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to just back five it. It's so dark up here. 1984. Create a new spot for Melbourne. Not alone. All right, right here. This one. I was like kind of pushing like I was owing the stairs. Or <laughs> <laughs> My stupid heel. <laughs> I blame Canberra. Thank you. Oh. 